Frankers from Big Gay Horror Fan getting musical with the amazing Brian Amade, one of the founding members of the amazing Wild Cloth Theater here in Chicago, the only theater in Illinois devoted entirely to the awesome art of horror. Always got to hit that last syllable. Horror. 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 I, you know, do you even, do you find even when you say horror, like people automatically assume you said horror? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I try so hard. What do you guys do? Oh, we have a horror theater company. A horror, horror? theater company? No. Is that like burlesque? No. Horror. <laughs> yeah. Monsters. Yeah. Yeah. I try so horror. So what was the impetus? What was just, you weren't seeing what you wanted to see on stage? What was I the impetus love, the I would love to take credit for it. Okay. The, the credit goes to Charlie Sherman, right. our former artistic director and founding member, okay. uh, who's still part of the company, but he has buggered off to England. All um, right. With our not a place, a bad place to bugger off. No, he was originally yeah. from England, but he uh, many years ago in 1994, he and Steve Pickering adapted yeah. Five Barkers in the Flesh for the Organic, Organic. and that was the first time I'd heard it. And I went and saw that. I didn't know Charlie at the time, uh, but it was brilliant, and it was it scared me in a way that I'd never been scared in a movie, or that I'd never been scared in a, in a live theater yeah. environment, and I'd only come close to that in a movie environment. And I thought, wow, I didn't know you could do that in live theater. So fast forward 12 years, and uh, he started Wild Claw, and he assembled uh, seven crack pots around his coffee table, and he said, awesome. he want to do this? And then the next most important evolution in this was um, Charlie Thanis at that meeting said, and he does all of our posters, and he's brilliant, Gene, graphic artist, yeah. genius, genius. And he said, are you guys, okay, I just need to know one thing. Is this serious? Or is this satire, wink at the audience? Because if this is satire, wink at the audience, best of luck to you, but I don't, I'm not interested. And yeah. we all went, oh no, seriously, serious? We're, all, yeah. we're all theater people and we're yeah. about character and drama and conflict and relationships and stuff that makes good yeah. drama. Yeah. And so that was where it came from. I, the moment I got involved though, I realized that it was absolutely an underserved audience. Yeah. I, you know, I've said it a, a thousand times before, there's a, there's a, there's a very stable uh, theater going audience. It doesn't get bigger. It doesn't really get smaller and, and, uh, and they do theater yeah, and, yeah. uh, and there's, and if you, horror movies are number one at the box office. The worst horror movie in the world is number yes! one at the box office yes! the weekend it comes out. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that audience doesn't go to theater no. because they don't think theater has anything to offer them and they're usually right. And we started thinking immediately if we can tap into that audience then we don't have to worry about that audience that 250 other theater companies are fighting over you know that's you got yeah. stable audience. have you found that the double inside fans and you know yes. the underworld part 10 fans are playing yes it's Good. it's slower than i that i you know we're in our fifth yeah. year and it's yeah. slower than i wanted it there have there was this little thing called the economic collapse yeah, that uh, well, a, a real life horror <laughs> or horror but you know we're here and we're still going and 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 we're, we we paid all of our debts and we're awesome. you know, we don't owe anybody any money and That's and great. we see the same faces over and over and over Good. and our last Good. show Carmilla, the people at the Department of Cultural Affairs which we did downtown, they came up to us and they said that you know seventy percent of our audience had never been to their awesome. theater before. That's amazing. That is so amazing. Um, and you were a major part of some of this theater, the Revenants, Carmilla. Uh, and you've always amazed me as an actor. You're always very natural and believable, and I can't tell you how many times, uh, whether it's, I think it was Dreams of the Witch House, I, you played a couple different characters, and I couldn't tell, well, you know, you. that it was you. So, what is your process? You, you know, do you uh, just kind of... That's a fascinating in, question, yeah. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if I have, I don't know how to define my process, because yeah. uh, I don't know if I have a process. I, uh, I do, I definitely need rehearsal. Uh -huh. um, uh, you know, so I know some actors that don't need rehearsal as badly as I do. Yeah. Um, so, you know, my process is listening. It's over the years. It's really come down to listening to what the actors are doing and listening to the what the director tells you to do, and and hopefully getting out of your own way because I tend to make things more difficult. Yeah. Than, so. But I think you hear that about the best actors. You know, is is that you know when other actors work with them that they you know there's a process there's a struggle and they do they have to get out of their own way but right you, you, you know I, I think that happens when you hear people talking about the amazing actors my so. instincts for myself are usually wrong yeah <laughs> and, and and you know
know, I, I, I could probably direct the hell out of someone else's scene, mm-hmm. but when it comes to the, my instincts for yeah. myself, they're, they're generally wrong. And I, I love directors and I love taking direction yeah. because they say, do this. And then I will do it once and it'll feel odd. And then I'll do it the second yeah. time. And I'll be like, why haven't I been doing it this way? Oh, oh. Oh, that's funny. Well, you know, dude, but you get there, you get there, your stuff's amazing, whether it's a zombie, what you played in the Revenants, mm-hmm. uh, a lord or a cultural figure like in Carmella, you know, it's always amazing to me. So uh, definitely check out it's Wild Cloth Theater. Wild Cloth Theater. Car uh, Kill Me opens mm-hmm. Monday, February thirteenth at the Athenaeum Theater at the corner of Southport and Wellington oh, yeah. in Chicago, Illinois.